very quickly, I think that what you get up to is divided into four sorts of things. There are things that have high impact and require high effort. You get natural. There are things that are high effort but low impact. Uh, you can think of some of them. Right? There are things that are low effort and have low impact. And there are things, and they are treasures, and I think you'll hear some today, that are low effort and high impact. They're absolute treasures. Now, I call them butterflies. And the outcome of all that is really from the chaos theory that as sufficient butterflies were their wings in the Amazonian rainforest, a thunderbolt might go across the United States. Now, I just want to tell you what happened last summer. Because last summer, I've got two kids who've lived in America since their 20s. They're now in their late 40s, early 50s. And, what, well, you know, would I go and visit them? Not likely, because a thunderbolt might go across the United States. <laughs> so, Carol came back last summer, and she came to see me. Uh, she's the younger one, she's 46. And she came in, and I said, oh, my God, it's good to see you. You're now changed. So she said, yeah. Married, I said. So she said, yeah. So I said, two kids. 14. And she said, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I said, well, you know, you seem to look up to something called cognitive science. What's that? So she said, what are you going to do on the morning What are you going to do? She said, did you know, we were pretty wise at the time, she said, did you know that if you learn something when you get drunk, you would know about that. The best circumstance in which to recall it is to get drunk again, and she said, you know about that. <laughs> it's called context-dependent memory. And actually, it made me think about going back to the school where I started teaching, doing the war evening, and lo and behold, in the, when I arrived there, I was worried, because it's 35 years later. You know, and I thought there'll be older people, and I won't remember them, but they'll notice me, because I'm down to give away the prize. When I arrived, the present head showed me a picture of me, you know, a kind of sepia tinted photograph with all the kids that I had been teaching at the time. She said, Do you recognise this? So I said, Well, just. So she said, Did you teach in this building? So I said, Yes. And we went down to the, the room where I taught, and I could tell the name of every kid and where they sat. She was astonished, so was I. <laughs> we went back that weekend and I thought I'm going to do the same thing. So people came round, get out the secret into the photograph. I said to them, Do you know, I know the names of all these kids. Polly, I couldn't remember any of them. And my daughter said to me, This is context dependent memory. She said, Have you thought the implications for exam system? These kids go to the exam. So, Polly said, I've got to tell you, if you really want to improve your results this coming summer, it's easy peasy. Right? You do the revision in the hall where they will take the exams. You put up different symbols around the wall, different for different uh, subjects, so that when you go through the revision, you make it dependent on looking at the particular thing. So you make the contest absolutely guaranteed your results are about 5%. That's why. <laughs>